The red fox is the most cat-like of all of our carnivores, and yet it belongs to the dog family. Basically, you can divide North America's carnivores into two groups, the dog-like ones and the cat-like ones. The red fox is a stalker and an ambush hunter. The gray fox is our only fox that can climb trees. There are very few found in Ontario, but they're common in the United States. The arctic fox lives in the far north, and its range is contracting with global warming. The kit fox is our smallest fox. The coyote is expanding its range. Coyotes have learned to live among us and can be found in most cities. They are highly adaptable and eat a wide variety of foods. The closely related red wolf is almost extinct. There are very few, if any, still living in the wild. The Eastern Algonquin Wolf is a hybrid between wolves and coyotes. The most famous member of the dog family has to be the wolf. The gray wolf is found across North America and Asia and even into Africa. It is a superb predator. There are several subspecies. The Mexican wolf has been reintroduced into parts of Southern North America. The coastal gray wolf is found only on the Pacific coast in Canada, and the Arctic species only in the far north. The raccoon is found just about everywhere people live. These little bandits get along quite well with people, and will even live in our houses, although not as welcome guests. Along with the wolf, the cody is one of our more sociable predators it lives in large groups, but only in Arizona and into Mexico. It is a member of the raccoon family. North America is home to three species of bears. The black bear is the most common and can be found throughout the continent. These bears are expanding their range and their population. They are the most omnivorous of all of our bears and eat the greatest amount of plant food. The grizzly bear, depending on where it lives, may or may not eat a lot of plant food. The inland grizzlies tend to subsist on plants, but they will kill and eat other animals. The polar bear is the most carnivorous of all of our bears. Very seldom will it eat plants. It prefers seals, and if it can catch them, whales. Polar bears are found in the Arctic, and they are being affected by climate change. The striped skunk lives among us, and surprisingly, you seldom smell them. The hog-nosed skunk is another member of this family, along with the spotted skunk. Skunks used to be classed as weasels. The badger is the first true weasel that we'll meet. These animals are found in grasslands where they feed on squirrels. The wolverine is our largest member of the weasel family and is found in the far north and along through the Rockies. It is a voracious predator. Make are small weasels and can be found along most of our waterways. They are excellent swimmers but hunt just as well on land. The black-footed ferret is only found where you find prairie dogs. Weasels can be found just about anywhere. Some are very small, like the short-tailed weasel, and others long and lean. They are very fast. The American Martin hunts the treetops for red squirrels while the fisher preys on larger species, like porcupine. In Ontario's Bruce Peninsula, fishers were reintroduced to help control the porcupine numbers. River otters can be found in most of our rivers and lakes. They are excellent swimmers, and they feed on fish. They are often found in social groups, which are made up of families, parents, and youngsters. 
The sea otter is our most social of all of our weasels. They can be found in large rafts. Sometimes the rafts are made up of only males and sometimes with females and their young. The Jaragundi is one of the rarest cats in North America and only found in the far south. The puma, or mountain lion, or cougar, is expanding its range. They number about 30,000, and they have increased as the deer herds have increased across North America. There have been recent unsubstantiated sightings of these animals even in and around the Toronto area. The jaguar is very rare. There may be as few as five jaguars in all of North America, north of Mexico, and the border wall is not helping their cause. The margay is another rare cat, seldom seen. Ocelots, however, are expanding their range and can be found in Texas and Arizona. The Canada lynx is found only in the north and along the Rocky Mountain Corridor. This is an animal that likes deep snow. The bobcat is kind of the southern equivalent of a lynx. They are found from southern Ontario across most of the United States. They are superb hunters and can take animals as large as a white-tailed deer. And there you have most of our land-based carnivores. Carnivores play an important role in the ecology of North America, and we should take steps to protect them and ensure that they are with us for a long, long time.